No, ladies and gentlemen, last night, still it's now the next day, it's uh, half three o'clock in the morning. I promised I'm going to post audio where my father claims that my mother, in fact, is a city employee hired by the administration of the city, of the city of the Novomesto. He is 100% correct in a sense, yes, in a sense that it was a previous mayor who died in 2017. I'm going to get to this issue. First, let me let me present this this issue right here. This is a Alois Mohic, a mayor. A predecessor of of Mayor of the Novo Mesa we have now. That's the individual right here you see. That's the mayor we have now. This this individual right here. Okay. This is the mayor who replaced Alois Muhich. Alois Muhich was an old Udba individual. This man is served really really well to Milan Kuchan, to Borut Pahor, to Jankovic, to Zoran Jankovic. This would be people here from Novo Mesto. Now this guy was not even so bad, this guy. And this guy was quite uh, in a way even neutral. This mayor was not such a bad person that I could I recall that he would be something that that he would cause me I don't know what all through under this individual it was the most severe crime that went on I th he, the crime was unimaginable under this individual and it doesn't matter this guy was involved since 1995 surprisingly the one who jumped in my face in reference to statements about how my mother is a city employee was his wife his spouse who on occasion in 2017 on which occasion when he passed away I was brought to his home literally to her she apologized me and then I had some people threatening death threatened me if I would ever come even near and so on and so forth it was that kind of stuff that went on uh, this lady here that you see was by far the most aggressive individual uh, around this wife of his would visit this village and walk alongside me and claim me repeatedly since 2010 that I have actually nothing to live for that I'm a dead walking man to make no mistake will never ever escape a death penalty will eventually be killed wasted dead guaranteed me this time and again time and again time and again Milan Kuchan, Borut Pahor, Zoran Jankovic that's the lady here that's a lunatic. She is the one. She was the engine of this crime. The guy, the man, was not even so bad. But she was... Uh, huh. That's a plain evil right there. That female right there. That was the one. I did hurt her. That she claimed others. She would stay along the walk. Uh, I told him and I told the other one I told him that that uh, simply that she that he that she is a city employee that he whether you are to listen your mother your mother is a city employee and your father I told him anything that she has to say we gonna go it's gonna go right through us and we're gonna handle the situation but that you know that you got nothing to live for you're a dead walking man hundred percent dead it was her message to me, ongoing message to me, 
for no less than six years to me and obviously also to my father, whom I have managed to audio record on more than just one occasion. And so I wouldn't waste my time. Oh, she blamed me for his death in 2017. Uh, I wouldn't waste no time. I would just go ahead and I would play you an audio recording. I think that mother next to the people like this, yeah, fairly is to say that was afraid. Uh, this was extremely aggressive. She had to walk alongside and listen how they guaranteed me in the face that I'm dead man, a dead walking man, that I have exactly zero chance to escape death and it probably made a strong psychological impact on me. Because this village, Kirka here, this Ulitsa Kirka, this is like a mafia. This is like a gangster village, it's like a typical gangster village. What I can tell you about the neighbors is they came here to this village without absolutely nothing but credits. They used to pay off debt, which they used to build housing, houses. My parents were actually debt free. However, the only thing I can say about myself was that there was no job, and so I searched for the job. Then since there was no job, I try to succeed somehow on my own. I traveled across the border and I would buy myself clothing and sell this clothing in local villages to make money with it. Finally, I purchased the ticket and I went to the US and just so I could find myself in a very funny village again under very funny circumstances basically observing the people around me getting wealthy even more not only paying off those debt those credits but buying themselves new cars many cars building themselves properties all over the place uh, buying themselves properties buying themselves businesses and so on <laughs> and me at my age 50 right from here left penniless and with a ruined health. This is the city, Novo Mesto, Slovenia. This is a village Kirka. This is Ulica Kirka. These are the people who have observed this. They knew. They saw the stuff I'm talking about. He'd done absolutely in nothing. Zero point nothing for 28 years. They observed and without absolutely nothing to stop the crime. Now it's the third day that father is inside the hospital. I'm not going to say in a big way because of these people, but because of what I stated. Let's go and we're going to start with... Uh, I have several audio recordings and why not the hell? I'm going to go ahead and do this right now. Let me see which one I'm going to choose the first. I guess it's a lot. Maybe this is a pretty long one and I'm going to do it with this one and maybe with this one here this is short. Okay, Father says that uh, mom is not even his wife. That exactly pertains to the issue that I have spoken about and so maybe this is really interesting one to start with. Audio recorded on January the 27th, January the 27th of 2022. <laughs> Uh, I just returned with the father, uh, I took him for a walk, I took him to the store, uh, I took him out, basically back and forth, uh, and we returned back and uh, father wants the keys from the car, that this is his car and this and that, that he purchased, and I politely explained him that that's just not possible, and so on, 
that was the agreement with the mother due to his eyesight. Father complained to me ongoingly that they screw his eyesight. They damaged him. They did this stuff. Yes, it appears that it was a Slovenian police, the police of Novo Mesto, the people I have just right now spoken about, that they have much greater share of problems in his case and are trying to just desperately to get rid of him. That's exactly his case. That's why he's inside of the hospital. I, from this moment on, no longer believe in absolutely any way, any form, that his worsened eyesight is due to fall. I don't believe that he had fallen of the natural circumstances. He had other occurrences like this on other occasions. And uh, it appears to me Novo Mesto Director of Police is involved in this and Director of the Police of the Slovenia who was his predecessor, all these politicians. They're involved in this attack on him. He asked me about the kids and I said, no, I can't do that, Dad. I have to give them to the mom. No. I, I told him I would really love to give you this kids, but the agreement is I have to give them to the mother. I told him when we're going to go out again together, I'm going to also let you drive my car that I bought it because he likes this car that I bought it. I'm a kid. I said mom is going to request the key and yeah the police, the psychiatrist, all these people involved in it it's going to get me in trouble you know they labeled him with iron identified dementia and i can confirm absolutely he didn't have any dementia he followed exactly the instructions for the police from the psychiatrist uh that's one of the things i have to say i have observed because he engaged in other quite demanding uh, tasks and afterwards he also did operate a car for some time he says these are the best shoes, he says. That these are super comfortable, he says. I said I'm going to bring him a shoe, so I'm trying to help him to take the shoes down. Uh, father says I'm the owner of the car and uh, I would really like to have the key but of course I can't give the key Mama Mama 
I said to him, mother does have the right to keep these keys. I said, she's your wife. I am your son, but she's your wife. And father says, that's not my wife. I don't have wife. She's not my wife. I don't have it. I don't have wife. I'm not married. He is trying to remind me. I said, if you're going to say like this, we are both going to get screwed. Yeah. Uh, he's trying to remind me what went on here. He's trying to remind me what I have stated to you just now. The thing about it is that he see it his way and I see it my way. Uh, my way is the way to go because, you know, if you if you tell what you need to tell, uh, the problems are solved. Now, he decided to play here and he decided to play there. He decided to play on the both sides. Well, I wish that would be possible. But in fact, their scenarios were done in a such a way that for me that was completely impossible. It would get me in trouble. Absolutely. It was impossible. So... I couldn't play this earlier. I didn't have any chance to play this stuff earlier. Uh, there was a lot of threat. They're going to remove the mother from uh, also. In fact, that if I would go and play this kind of stuff, they're going to remove both. First, that they're going to get rid of him. And they'll come back and pick her up as well as the second one. So... What I'm going to do, I'm going to play you this one more time. Um, yeah, I want to alert about this stuff. He was labeled with unidentified dementia. In fact, he was blinded. He, he would have to go to the hospital and receive injections and all kinds of stuff like this. They have done the whole horrible work on him. I know now that that's actually the truth. I was labeled with a paranoid schizophrenia. A terrible a title. Uh, truly labeled with death. is a death walking man. Um, this family have been severely affected, destroyed by these politicians, by the mayors here. This mayor, there, he's completely no different. This, this is a different person. They're all the same. One goes, another one comes, and they change. One after another, they do. Uh, they just, a portion of crime goes on one hand, and that one then handles that crime of Milan Kuchan, to the next one, and next one, and next one, and next one. It's just a Milan Kuch in the background, a bottled power, Udba people, the same people that never change, is the same crime that goes on, and on, and on, and on. I fight this crime for no less than 28 years. Let's go to the next audio recording. 
What a wonderful license, this psychiatric license, man. You go and you brand somebody with something like this, and you can fuck with a person, you can do the person anything you want to do. That's just wonderful. Uh, the next recording, I'm going to choose. That's pretty bad. This one here, let's say. This is recording from January the 30, 2022. Just a day earlier, father pulled out such an insane scenario that if I would place one online, that was in respect to the watches that he purchased, that I purchased. And he drove me insane for about an hour and a half that all the watches he purchased, um, he only acted like he knew for two watches and it was something that they have insisted they tested on other people too uh, and so mother told me if you're gonna put this online and they're gonna take him away because that's so bad such a crazy stuff uh, he made me search the room for like half an hour back and forth back and forth back and forth and he had the watches hidden inside of his pocket which is that kind of stuff for him and from he did this literally again repeated the scenario from psychiatrist peter kops from the police director ogulin from the police basically dictated crime dictated crime used him like a tool <laughs> like a tool like a criminal tool against me all along since return from poland they used mother as well. Myself, but the thing is, it, the thing about the mother is, um, you know, I don't really know who she is. I don't even know about who he is. If these people do not clarify what I stated, these people are as good to me as if I would live next to Peter Kops. Police. All the crime that went on, went on, was dictated to Peter Kops, anyone that got involved in a case, he had to go to the Peter Kops, the local psychiatrist Peter Kops, and according to the scenario, Peter Kops, the local psychiatrist, would find a hole in which he would squeeze that person, the issues of those person, whichever way he knew would be best to use against me psychologically to break me down and so it was like this thousands of people not one the second thing Peter Kops did was anything that he wanted to exercise as domestic dispute portray as a domestic dispute a crime psychological crime that pertains to domestic dispute issues he would implement it against me through the father and through the mother. Uh, it was not only he, he had other people from Ljubljana that would assist one, but really here to the Novo Mesto, he had also the police investigators that would participate, this kind of stuff, evaluate one, uh, and evaluate one from different uh, tips, points, uh, and get an idea on how to take f future approach, approach towards issues if those would develop enough uh, to expand them into larger problems. So, you understand, Petr Kops was the number one dot that Slovenian police, on behalf of Milan Kuc and Borat Pahar, would use. There was everything that went, went right through him. He was like a broker for the outside circle and then not only for the Slovenian as far as Slovenian but all the requests also from abroad British and so on uh, Russian and so on German and so on and when it came to the family circle because it was exactly the family circle they have used as the strongest link of crime against me Everything was implemented through well exercised, through well um, (sighs) 
sprobane, um, tested, well-tested procedures to which not only he implemented them, but he had also police to witness next to the crime. And then, of course, rehearsed in real time. And my father, my mother, they had to follow that. Involved psychiatrist Peter Kovch into this massacre that made me lose maybe one week of time just to accommodating father in, you know, his crazy task, basically purchasing a special watch, playing crap through depression issues and so on. Uh, father came up with the idea that he wants for 220 euros smartwatch. Father doesn't even know how to use the phone, the regular phone. Smartwatch, as much as I would love to buy one, he would not only he would know how to use one, but it would really do him no good. He wanted the analog watch which really was the psychiatrist Peter Kopsch who wanted one. And they know that this issue is going to expand on other issue, which they all realized under MK Ultra because they're brainwashing this stuff that you have to, and you have to find a watch for the father and this and that. Afterwards, um, he got, instead of one watch, he got um, six watches. He got, um, how many, six? No, four watches. Two Casio watches and two other watches with Seiko inside. Uh, good watches. All together was less than 100 euros. Uh, because I felt sorry. Because I felt that he is depressed. And uh, they pressured me that your father is only going to leave as long as you're going to take care of him, take him out. Um, that he's going to be all depressed and stuff like this. And so, well, it was a job for my father to use that stuff against me. So, a magic circle. From one end, you had to provide a good food. From the other end, uh, and take him for a walk, take him exercise as much as possible, so that all that stuff that you do, accomplish for your father, your father can use against you as much as possible. That's a fucked up stuff, right? That's a magic circle of the crime against me. Um, a day earlier he did something so crazy that if I would place that online it would be probably instantly taken somewhere. I... Uh, stuff was. 14 day. I have no wife, she's a government worker deal, um, for him. I tell my father downstairs, it's not good that you're downstairs here. You sit here, it's not healthy for you. It's a furnace here. It would be better that you go out for a walk. It was a winter time. Fumes are really not healthy in there. I tell the father I prepared the food, let's go upstairs. I prepared your food, let's go, let's go eat upstairs. Because he's sitting inside in there all alone. And 40 minutes later, father started to fuck around, basically, got him cook food for him, take him for a walk for what, like two weeks, uh, got him watches, started to take care and the only thing he does is he start to recall the stuff that involved psychiatry against me, start recording. That's how our rendezvous again, yet again.
universo, não? Não é inclusão de mim. Que é como fazer. Olha. É, também viu, né? Tu esvoniu. Uh, he started to pull this stuff from psychiatry. He had a whole bunch of scenarios about uh, totally. T <laughs> you gotta feel sorry for one, totally inciting in a paranoia. You see, very difficult that somebody ring with a phone and that kind of stuff that he involved in MKRG. You see, that's why very, very, very difficult. Very difficult to go about stuff like this. In one way, you help someone. You cook. You take time to take him for exercise. You try to revive him. And uh, then on the other end, it's something else that comes your way. So either way you go, it's you get you get a funny pay in return. Yes, no. Yeah, that was right after the day he did this, but now let's go to the most important recording, because this here, this is what actually matters. January the 30th, 2022, um, mother says no longer we cook for the father. Her passion goes crazy because I'm the one cooking for the father and I actually cook good for the father. This is not a white flower and I don't feed one before he goes sleep with a fat, with a pure fat, basically spech, I don't know how you say that, but that's just dried fat basically from the animals uh, I don't do that kind of stuff father had on several occasions complained to me in the mornings barely gets up at 12 o'clock uh, it's this thing here that's the most disgusting thing you want to do a suicide that's all you do that's why he was sitting downstairs all confused all messed up he would get up at 12 o'clock even at one o'clock. That's a kind of perfect stuff to clog you. He gained a lot of weight since I returned from Poland. But what's interesting for me to note, as soon as I came from Poland, father claimed me that father is fat. That he came, he became really fat and it was not the case. That's what he got my attention. That's what really, really caught my attention. That's exactly what was not the, the case. And once I came here from Paul about a year and a half ago, she started to fit him like a pig with a flour that was seasoned with a grease, with a, with a, with a oil, with a fat, disgusting food, disgusting food. This was one of the specialties. It looked like she wanted to get rid of him per ASAP, basically, as fast as possible. And on the MK Ultra, they ran some really, really impressive scenarios through which they anticipated, eventually, I'm going to even support that kind of plan. It did not go well along uh, that kind of plan to me. That's from pork. That's a big fat, whatever you want to call this. Let me play this for you. Food she prepares for him is a white flower. Over and over again, he complains to me about diarrhea. Sometimes barely he can get up. He's dizzy and all kinds of stuff. Seasoned with a lot of oil, grease. Perfect food for one to gain kilos. Perfect to put one to sleep, basically to death. He's 90 years old after all. Again, January the 30, 2022. Mother also says, no longer we cook for one. Um, and so I asked, I requested in front of her, uh, since she no longer we cook for one, for the money that she receives otherwise from him for the food. She starts to intimidate father 
and uh, sooner than not, Father changes his story from previous, where she, he did request it from me to cook for him, on how he is satisfied, in fact, with her cooking. Uh, as far as the money issues, it was a psychiatrist, Peter Kapsch, who demanded for every cent to be accounted. It was He was the one who said the rules of the game that wanted to account for every cent to be accounted, so that no cent would be spared for me. Father, in fact, would even try to avoid, if I would cut his hair, to give a dime, something for uh, like five euros, let's say, even two euros for the haircut. That's basically how it was. And it wasn't because he would want it this way, but it was exactly like this because psychiatrists, police dictated this kind of game. Mother, in fact, told me that in MK Ultra there is money in there in a drawer. Go ahead and take it if you need one. I'm going to put one, but I never do. She told me, I know that you never take it, but take it. But I didn't. I don't. I still didn't. I haven't done any of that stuff. So the one who dictated this kind of tempo about all this stuff really was a psychiatrist and the local police. Uh, once she is gone and he does eat food I prepared for him, he changes the story again and tells me that he just has to be happy with her cooking because she is inside of this household on behalf of the government, on behalf of the administration unit of the city of the Novo Mesto. To cook, to clean, that's just the way it is. Like it or not, he has to take it. That's all. January the 30, 2022 it is. I asked mother because uh, I want to know because I took initiative and I cook I always cook I started to cook for the father roastery chicken I would cook the chicken boil the chicken then I would fry the chicken prepare the fries soak all the oil out especially so there would be no drop of oil on it salad salmon sardines that kind of stuff basically healthy food uh, no longer flour, no longer flour seasoned with oil. She completely modified his taste in the mornings. The only thing this man would do, he would, the first thing, he was just reach out for the bread and would eat nothing but bread. He wouldn't even taste eggs and stuff like this. He is totally brainwashed to consume garbage complete garbage without absolutely any ingredients well food is the matter basically the taste it's a matter of what you get used to what your brain get adjusted to and so let's go she says she's not going to cook anything for him that i said i'm going to cook <laughs> I have, uh, you said you're going to cook for him, I have cooked for myself. So I said, you're not going to cook for the father then. She doesn't answer, she walks away. That's fine with me because I don't have such a problem cooking. I can cook really fast, pretty good too. Now, father pays to mother pretty well, good, a good sum of money for the food. That's the kind of food he gets, it's worth shit. That's not even a food, really. Um, and since I'm going to be cooking for my father, and I already did for like two weeks, I decided that it would be then the right thing that he actually gives me the money so that I would go to the store and buy the ingredients that would fit on his plate, basically, so that he would get this healthy food. I prepared the food, of course, 
I don't, I don't argue with her at all. And so I tell her I'm going to talk to the father, and so that if we're going to do it like this, it's really easier that you know you go to the store and you purchase whatever you think it's the right food, you know. Uh, father asked me to cook for him. There is another audio recording which he states that he wants me to cook for him. It's another audio recording where he states that not only this is not his wife, but this is a city employee, that she works for the government. She says, what for? So I say, so that I can cook for him uh, whatever is important for the person to eat, so that he can eat food with proper ingredients. There is everything in the house that you need to cook. That's it. You you told him, you told me that if he is going to eat what I cook, soon he will perish. Yeah, I have several audio recordings that father barely got up, that he barely picked himself up, that he was all fucked up, messed up. I do, I have proofs about that stuff. Uh, father yells at me, uh, mother yells at me that you told me that I cook like this for him because I wanted to get rid of him as fast as possible. I, and I gotta say, I admit I did. I admit I did. This is the food, the food that she prepared for the father. It would be something like ongoingly it would be it would be a food i have video recorded cheese 40 percent cheese uh fat on cheese 35 40 percent cheese uh, on uh, cheese with a 35 40 percent fat <laughs> a pure fat basically that would look something like lasagna yeah lasagna something like this but totally covered with a cheese that that if you would eat if you the young man you would fucking drop dead that's one of the things uh then it would be this kind of food that she addicted him to something before he would not even eat but it wouldn't be like this. It would be filled with oil. It would be basically floating in oil. And father would reach out for that and just go and eat that shit. Angry, depressed, and so on. And so, you know, flour and shit like this. Uh, without chicken, without the meat, actual eggs. Salad too. Carrots stuff that I used to prepare for him, salmon, sardines, and so on. You, you won't go for too long with the stuff like this when you're 90 years old and his stomach simply exploded, his weight simply exploded. So, I have said that? Yes, I did. Yeah, I just example right now with the food that she fed him before he went sleep. He was all sick. He, he complained me about it. He couldn't sleep. He couldn't sleep. He was all fucked up. Uh, he would stay in the bed up to like 12 o'clock. Then he would get up, all messed up, crash over there inside of the living room and basically dream, daydream inside of the living room for 
the whole fucking day, from one day to another, and would not even make 50 meters of walk, basically, throughout the day. Here and there he would. So I started to take control and take him out for a walk, cook and so on. I tell her, you don't do this to the old man like that. She is very aggressive, very aggressive, yelling, screaming at me and claims that I am the one who is making a facial impression facial expressions on her and so on just by saying that i used so far about 20 liters of oil i don't know within the last 12 months or something like this year Forty months. Uh, claims that uh, I serve him with a burnt fish. Um, Mother claims that I feed him with uh, heavy uh, metals, and uh, I'm the only one actually who eats uh, fish from the cans. I used to, I no longer do, but I was the only one who did this. Uh, I didn't. I never did fed father with burnt fish, with heavy metals. Uh, I knew how to prepare the fish since I was child. You know. uh -huh. <laughs> Ta tretja stvar je ta, da si ti začel razvrna na mene verbalno se izživljati, se prav kriča. Psihično nasilje se to imenuje. Dobro, ti je vse. Jaz mi sem mu povedal. Nač me ne zanima, kaj si ti. Mami, mother is looking for the confrontation, but I'm not interested in any confrontations. Oče je mene prosil za hrano zaradi... Basically... The only thing I want is solution to this thing. If she doesn't want to cook for him and he wants me to cook for him, prepare the food for him, I will. I don't have a problem. I'll take him out for a walk, take care of him. That's completely okay with me. But it's that kind of stuff does not go well with her. It doesn't go well with her that I prepare the food, that I do this stuff. She just loses it. <laughs> Two dollars for a kilo of fish for 2.2 pounds, it's true, it's too expensive for my mother. It happened time and again. No, this is just the way it is. Oh, 
povedal, ki ga ne daš za hrano, ga men daš, pa jaz kupim zate pa zase. Hrano tako. A si ti res rekel, a si ti res boš... Father comes and I tell in front of the mother that instead, because he requested, I cook for him, gives me the money for the food, so I buy the food in the supermarket. I tell this in front of the mother, rather than giving her the money for purchasing food in the supermarket from his share. And this is where mother goes completely berserk. If I said, did you said, did you said to him? Uh, that's crazy, because at the beginning of this audio recording, she stated she will no longer cook for the father, if you remember. She will no longer cook for the father. She got upset, because when I prepared food for the father, after she served him the food, he would instead eat my food. That's one of the things. So at the beginning of this audio recording, she acknowledges, she says, you cook for the father food. So I cook, I prepare, I don't have a problem. Now she's changing the story. And she is saying, if I said I'm going to cook food for the father, let's hear this. If he said that he wants me to cook the food for the father and so on. Let's continue with this. I don't have a time for that. She intimidated him enough and father says that he did not uh, ask me to do this kind of stuff. And I say, oh, well, that's completely fine with me. Then from here on, it's going to be the mother who will be preparing the food for you. So, you know. For me, this is much better because <laughs> I can do my stuff. Um, it's easier this way for me. But to tell you the truth, it's not even difficult to do it either because the only thing I do is I prepare a little extra and give father the same food I eat and that's about it that's not a big deal for me but I prepared for the father really good food so if he doesn't want you know when you do something honestly uh, honestly you're not the one who loses you're not at loss And I remind her, you just said earlier for him, I just want this to be recorded. You are the one who no longer will cook for him. And when I approach to him for this issue so that I can cook for him, you jump in between and you started to intimidate him right there. So, she says that she has an honor and it doesn't discuss things like this and I want to know what kind of honor the people, the people respect. The people, yeah. So, there is a father and I ask him, the mother is not present and I ask him I said so you're happy with the mother's cooking Kai. he says no I'm not and I said for, for what you mean what ja, kai he is not he's moving hand he doesn't want 
he's not happy in other words with mother's food and so I, I'm asking why are you moving the hand what's going on <laughs> He says, because because you ask me like this. I said, ask you like what? <laughs> if I'm happy. <laughs> I said, aren't you happy or what now? <laughs> he says, I have to be. <laughs> I said, how do you have to be? I said, are you happy with the with the mother school king or you're not happy with the mother school king? I am because I have to be, is his answer. When mother was here earlier, you told her right in front of me that it will be a mother, the one who will cook for her, and because you're happy with her cooking. Now you're saying completely different. Now you're saying that you're happy because you have to be happy. And you complain to me time and again that the food was not good. Now you're saying to me that you have to be happy. Uh, I am, what can I do, he said. I want to hear, I want to hear what he had to say. So, uh, mother is an employee of administrative, of Novo Mesto administration unit. This is a mayor, I already have created an audio and video about administration unit. This was a previous mayor and I told you everything about this wife, about what went on from this previous mayor. There's really, really nothing here to say. That's exactly what it is. So what he gave now, the definition was exactly the definition, this lady alone, and she had another helper from, administrati from administration of the novel master, a head of administration, a female that replaced the mayor. She was the one she walked next to a mayor, to this mayor and his wife and so on. And so they brainwashed the father to see my mother as an employee of the city of the Novo Mesto, basically. As someone, if, who would complain, he would have to deal with the people from the city employees, city employees from the Novo Mesto, but Novo Mesto administration, you know, really from Ljubljana, really from Slovenia. People involved basically in crime against me. And now you have seen basically a judiciary system and police, psychiatry and everything else, basically. So he states he's got to be happy, mother, employee, city, employee. Yeah, yeah. Um, he tells she is here to cook, to clean, and paid for it. And let me tell you that he was diagnosed. So for him to keep mouth shut, scared like a mouse, literally diagnosed with so-called unidentified dementia. I had not observed one. I observed him act like he would have one because he had to. 
but other than that, he would go downstairs, catch fish, pike from the shore, which will be a very difficult task, even for the young person, because it's difficult. Water is very difficult to access. Um, access. He would operate the car if blind on one eye and he drove mother back and forth without causing getting himself into any accident 90 year old and he did some other precision required stuff uh, is this whole thing nothing else than a crime this is a murder in fact Si posa de bon, si farà la nova que tu. I anem, i se'n cai per tu. Mama? Mama, i els trusmen que més no obxinen el bon més. I és, i és, els trusmen que més no obxinen el bon més. I a posar una en el teu creu, i això, de cul, de cul, de xisti, i això, i en cul, de cul, de cul. I ni et plaixen més a tu. Ja, ampak ti si ti skaj dna dvajaš za te za tebe. Ni? Ti si se občina daje iz svojega proračuna. Občina daje iz svojega proračuna. A ja? Verjetno, da je kaj na strani, ne? Na strani, da je kaj pa teče, ja, da kaj. Jaz ne vem. Očki, vesel, ki je pa to. Občina ima veliko dohodkov. Veliko dohodkov. Ampak, zdaj zadeva je čisto ponovno enostavno. Mama je rekla prej, da je ona zate ne bo več kuhala. In pa se je zvalila krivdo na mene, češ, da sem jaz jaz, ki sem rekel, da sem ne vprašal, če bo kaj bo skuhala. Jaz sem hotel vedel, kaj bo skuhala. Če ne bo skuhala zate ene take normalne hrane, da ti bom sam pripravil. In pol je mama rekla, da ona zate ne bo več kuhala. In sem rekel, zakaj ne. Je pa šla zidejo ven, da, ker sem jaz tis, ki je rekel, da ona zate ne zna kuhala. Za ona zate ne ožitna hrana pripravila. Ker po mojem mnenju je res. Po mojem mnenju, da... Zdaj ga ne hir ne bo vrejno. Ja, v zanci se pretožval, da ti je dala špeh pred nasišču spar. Nisem se pretožval. Tu si se ti pretožval. Si se je zlagal? Ja. Ok. Pretožval si se. Ne, jaz sem se pa pretožval, ker pač jaz nisem, da je ta hrana in tudi sam, ki si je rekel zaradi druge strane, da je naožetna. Father has a difficulty with the procedure known as a complaint. Now, when I ask him about the food she gave him before the sleep and it was not on one occasion I have recorded on several occasions that once he got up in the mornings he would feel sick all day long he complained about unrest lack of sleep and so on and so forth so he thought he says I never complain I didn't complain when he comes to complain, he is all afraid to say complain. Even the word complain, it's like a no-no in his book. In his vocabulary, that's like, no, I did not complain. I did not complain. I don't see nothing wrong with a complaint. I wish that he would complain. But from this conversation here alone, he appears like, like a mouse. He doesn't even dare to say anything about about food, about anything. But he did point out that mother, in fact, is an employee of the city of the Novo Mesto. Now, the issue I had in respect to this stuff was a really really simple one um it didn't work for me this stuff i um really really simple i don't like to play 
by some kind of game, by some kind of rules, uh, stupid rules, by some police here, psychiatrists, something like this. Uh, this is not the case that I will go and waste myself, waste all the proofs I have obtained on some kind of schizophrenia shit. Because that's exactly what it is. What the fuck? Do you know anything about MK Ultra? Have you seen me drugged up? Have you seen other people? He did mention other people, but he would never go see and say, you know, it was this and this and this and that. He did not mention the stuff that he knows very well. It's not only of essence to me, but only also of essence to him. So perhaps now, after he have gone to the hospital, now if they're going to let him out alive, the whole village know about, knew about what's going to happen. If he's going to have a strength enough to recall, because he knows very good, he knows all about the stuff I have demonstrated you. Despite all that, he knows all about. And when I walk with him, he knew all about all kinds of stuff he was able to recall. If he can do that kind of stuff, that would be really good for him alone. Because just like I finished this conversation with him, you know, I tell him, because of the stuff that you stated earlier, I'm not going to be able to do anything for you in that case anymore. And then I did quit. I did quit wasting time. I'm not going to go and waste time with even father that wants to consume garbage, feed himself with the garbage, with the garbage food, on exercise, on preparing a special food for him separate food so he would have good nutrients so he would have healthy food prepare carrots prepare um pomegranate apple and stuff like this salad and stuff like this with the apples and stuff like this i'm gonna be fucking doing this i'm not gonna be fucking wasting myself uh on 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 a stuff like this so that he's gonna get energy and then basically humiliate me now the next thing you see mother prepared the food uh i prepared the food and mother prepared the food and he wanted to eat mother's food and my food and he would not want to go to walk and back and forth this is the stuff i don't do i don't walk behind you with a toilet paper in hand and uh you shit and uh, i grab your shit from your ass that kind of stuff i'm not here to to take shit from the psychiatrist, from the police. This is not the kind of stuff I do. You have to be normal with me for me to do the stuff that otherwise it should be done. And it's not. Because you just you don't wanna see you don't wanna do it this way. You wanna you wanna you wanna assist these people here against me, then in that case what well, that's that's okay with me. This this criminal here, this this individual and this this one here, these two criminals, this one was disciplined actually. These two criminals were involved against me since nineteen ninety five, these people. So now you have to make a decision whether you're gonna be whether you're gonna be a father. Even if you don't wanna be father, you probably should uh, care for your own ass, if nothing else, because that's really the way it goes with the all the people just like this they get rid of them so quickly that it's just unbelievable they get you one time in a hospital and uh really it's not necessary you're ever going to come out of there this is just uh this kind of stuff this is just uh a regular procedure for these people that you got to make a decision whether you're gonna you're going to be happy with what you have uh, or you're going to behave like a human being and you're going to tell us exactly for what it is. Now, I was advised not to say stuff like this and this and that till he comes out and da-da-da-da-da-da. No, 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 fuck that. 
uh, listen. There is no two ways. There is no one way and the other. Uh, it's either like this or it's, you know, that other way. But there is no other way. So that's all I wanted to point out. Um, I'm not going to say I need father because I never had any father. Uh, but, you know, I wouldn't mind for mother and father to be in peace uh, as long as they keep to themselves and do not support crime against me on behalf of these people. These people cost too much crime. I didn't even ask them to make a statement in respect to MK Ultra. But I'd be damned if I'm going to go and, you know, expose myself to a calculated crime, a well precalculated crime against me. That's something I'm not going to do. So it takes more than just to say, well, I am happy, I am not happy, and this and that. Because, you know, I don't have anything to else to say. You know, this 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 is disgusting. This this creature here, I I don't. Uh, it makes me sick just when I see this. That's all I wanted to say to you. Today, obviously, is April the twenty eighth, two thousand and twenty two. This is not going to change anything. You know, this this case of my father, it's not. It doesn't have any impact. Um. I'm not going to say that I count second when I get to director of the police, director of the Slovenian police, the criminals involved against me, but you can bet there is no way around this. I will. There is no fucking way you're going to escape me. You ruined me 28 years of life, 28 years of life, 28 years of crime against me. Um, you let father come out alive. Uh, or you don't, I'm going to come for you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get to you. I'm going to get to you more than what you got to me under MK Ultra. You're going you're gonna to spend the rest of your life behind the bars, living and dreaming the nightmare you have seen, stuff you have done to me. That I guarantee you. There is no, there is no if. There is no if here. There is only one way here. Today is April the 28th, 2022.